summer so we're gonna work on breaking out the concrete around the edges and we are going to put in the waterproofing system so we got some perforated drain pipe here that we're gonna do we're gonna break up maybe 13 or 16 inches around the outside we're gonna saw it and then we'll use a jackhammer to break it up so it's not probably going to show great light in here, but we're going to, we got a rock foundation here and we're going to go right around, cut right around the edge of it. And we're going to put that drain tile in there and then in the back corner, we're going to put a sump pump. inches out from the edge and we use this DeWalt uh, jackhammer here. We break it out and then we put it in buckets and carry it outside. Yeah, so we carry the, the buckets full of cement, it's all broken out cement and gravel and sod and mud and dump it in the skid steer and then we carry take the skid steer and haul it off so lots and lots of buckets of pieces <laughs> So we're just starting on the dimple board. We put the dimples to the back. And now we're putting screw, uh, nails in, screws in every two feet about.
That's what's up here. And then you can see where it meets back here. We'll put another one on. And we'll go around the dimple board here. This side is on. You can see we've got some water in here from the snow melting. Just set the drain tile in. You can't see it, but it's perforated. Got little holes in it. And then we're going to connect it right to the sump tank right there. And we'll cover it with gravel, which is what we're doing right here. We're going to put it a little bit deeper than that. But this is the tub here, and we got a sump pump that we're going to put in there. And obviously it's really dark down here, so we're going to put some can lighting in and hopefully make the basement a little bit more usable. Maybe have the kids play down here a little bit more and at least use it for storage because right now it's just not usable at all really because it gets so wet. So we have, this is an old rock foundation here and you can't really see too much of it but it's uh, all been covered over with cement. And then in here it's a block, just a block wall. This wasn't part of an addition. So we got a yard and a half of a cleaned gravel, of washed gravel. So we're carrying that down to the basement now. Just to kind of show you what we did. There it is on the bottom. There is some landscape fabric. We put some gravel and then we cover it with pipe. Or we cover it, put pipe down, then we cover it with gravel. It'll probably be about a little over an inch of concrete. And we'll drain right into the sump. So we do have everything facing, draining towards the sump. So here's what it looks like. We got the landscape fabric down. We'll cover it all the way up and then we fill it full of gravel. And then we'll put maybe three inches of cement on top of it. So right here is where we're at. Bucketing gravel down. We're almost done until we get to the sump pump here. It's kind of dark out here, but you can see where we're at. Got the gravel wall in now. Now we just need to put plastic on top of it so the cement doesn't seep down into the gravel and plug everything up. This is what it looks like. And then here's the sump. And there's, you can't see it, but there's a couple pipes, one on each side, that one here, and one coming in here, and they both go right into that sump pump. Now we're going to put cover everything up with plastic. And we got it right here. Six mil plastic sheeting. So now we've laid down all the plastic on top of the gravel. So it's just sitting in there. Put a little bit of gravel on the top of it. You can kind of see around the sump we didn't cover everything because there's no drainage tile on the back there. We'll probably put a little piece of plastic back there, but it's just plastic all over, covered up. And the next step is to mix up that concrete. I strength concrete mix. It needs to be found bag. About 80 bags of it. It needs to be hauled down the stairs. But you can see we got, our, got all the plastic in. Next step. We got all the cement poured. You can see it's a little bit different color. It all goes into the sump pump. And it's had a little bit of time to dry here, about a couple days. 
It uh, went pretty well. We ended up using about 60 bags, 65 bags of cement. And we mixed it with that electric cement mixer that we rented. And it, uh, we got about 115 feet or so uh, by the time we add it all together. We did leave in the corner back here. You're not going to see it, but we did leave a little, a little piece of pipe in the corner. It's too dark to see back there right now. It, with a hole in it so that we could get down into the, into the uh, drain tile if it plugs somewhere in here. But we did put just one sump in and it's back in this corner back here. So uh, it's right here. We don't have a pump, uh, not yet. We don't have the sump pump in there yet. So that's the next step. But that's, uh, that's where we're at. We'll get that in, and this project will be done. That's the way it's going to be. I'm pretty happy with it. I guess the proof will be when we get our first three inch rainstorm, and if there's no water in the basement, then I guess it'll be a success. But the proof will be when that happens, I guess. Anyway, we'll see you later.